Welcome back to daytime, everyone. We love our families and would do anything for them. What about having a life insurance plan? Many don't realize that they could be putting their wife, husband, kids, and other relatives at risk by simply not having a life insurance plan. Financial advisor Michael Minter, who's also the author of I Plan, can explain the ins and outs and benefits of life insur insurance plans. Good to have you here, Mike. Good to be here with you guys. It seems like an obvious. I mean, we all know that we should have insurance, but why do you hear from people that they don't have it? I think the number one thing that I see is the misunderstanding of life insurance. It's the lack of understanding, even amongst advisors, mm -hmm. you know, and also the thought of it's not the most sexy subject in the world, is it? No. But when we go home, we look at our, our children, you know, we look at our wives or our husbands and think about tomorrow without them. Mm -hmm. I think that's why it's so important that we address the subject. But more importantly, I think, uh, start to understand it. Okay, well, give us a basic understanding of the facts of a life insurance plan and how it actually works. Well, there's two types, or there's many types, mm -hmm. but I'm going to break it down as simple as I can. The two types would be there's term insurance and there's permanent insurance. Term insurance, we can relate that very simply to, like, renting, okay? There's a term limit. Uh, it's usually inexpensive, but there's no cash or there's no equity buildup. Okay. A lot of advisors will encourage term insurance for a variety of reasons. One, to make sure that you can secure your health, which we many times forget our health is our wealth. Sure. Uh, and a term policy will do that. It will make sure that you're now insured and give you an option most of the time to convert at some time in life that you choose that you have some additional cash to convert to a permanent policy that's more expensive. Uh, it is more expensive, but like owning a home, and that's what we'd equate permanent insurance to, you're building equity, mm -hmm. building cash. What I like to say when I work with a lot of our clients is it's forced savings. You know, it's a lot easier to buy the term insurance because it's very inexpensive. Sure. It's cheaper. That's, it's the, that's, cheaper. that's the key the right line. there. It's cheaper. Yeah. But the reality is there's not a very good chance you're ever going to collect on that. Right. At least, the, at least that's what the actuarials or statistics will show. Permanent insurance is your whole life. You're 100% going to collect. But what I think that we should talk more about is the fact of there's cash that's built up to use maybe for braces. Right. You know. <laughs> Little Stevie won't need braces. Don't worry, you guys. Oh, yes, he will. He's probably going to need a lot of headgear. <laughs> Let's, uh, you, you even encourage people to, to put a napkin up on, the, on your refrigerator. What do you want us to put on that napkin, and why is that important? Well, I think uh, today's the end. All we ever hear about on television is budget, 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 budget. Right. I mean, it's just so overwhelming. Do any of us really have a budget? Many times, most people I work with don't. So I really wanted to do and wanted to do in our book is to make sure that we took the word budget and simplified it in a way that made it really easy. A budget is not so overwhelming. We literally can do it on a napkin and we can do our own household budget in about less than 10 minutes. We're, so We're looking at the napkin right now. You've got it broken down. One side is wants, the other side is needs. Very important before starting that napkin is to think about that. That's again when we talk about life insurance uh, is it's not a want. This is a need. Think about it when you go home tonight and you look at your spouse, you look at your kids, and you say to yourself, what if you're not here tomorrow? Well, we've all heard the horror stories right. of people who've lost their, their partner tragically and they're left with absolutely nothing yeah. because that was just never in place. So how affordable can it be? It's actually very inexpensive when we do our napkin on the fridge. Uh -huh. You know, a lot of times people say, well, it's too costly. I can't do it now. I've got to wait for that promotion or I've got to... Especially uh, in an economy I, like today's, it's, 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 anything is expensive. Everything and anything. But again, if once we realize how important it is to our own families, maybe to our own futures, retirement or whatever, however it's structured in our own I plan, mm -hmm. um, then we can say, let's restructure maybe our, once we know our needs and we know our wants, maybe we can restructure our napkin on the fridge right? and change that. I, instead of me buying that cafe latte going to work, I'm going to bring it yeah. from home or, or lunch. Maybe instead of me buying out to lunch that $10 a day, I'm going to bring my lunch. So now we've just come up with maybe $15 a day, five days a week. Cross out a few wants and you've got extra money in your pocket. That's for sure. sure. That is for and sure. And there's your cost. To, there to you go. Sure. Michael Minter, thank you so much. <laughs> Be sure to pick up his book. It is I Plan uh, for more on this topic and we will give you a link through our website as well. All right, after the break, we're going to tell you about tomorrow's exciting show, so don't go anywhere.